We are a little more than four weeks out to the November election and community members got a chance to hear directly from many of the city council candidates for Cincinnati when it comes to the environment and sustainability. That's right as WCPO 9 news anchor Adrian Whitsett shows us that means different things to each, but all agree each part affects the whole. At the UC Digital Futures Complex Wednesday night, a chance to get a glimpse into the future, courtesy of Green Umbrella. We think it's important for voters to be able to understand what candidates think about environmental issues when they head to the polls in a few weeks. There are so many ways that climate issues intersect with other issues that people care about. So we heard from eight of the 10 people running for or trying to hold on to their council seat. I want to make sure that my kids and all of their peers can grow up in a city that is clean, that is sustainable, and that it sets them up for best for their future. There is a strong co correlation between gun violence, climate justice, and how our environments intersect. If we think about making sure that everyone has access to a living wage, have a roof over their head, fresh food on the table, access to health care that we're investing into our youth programs, each one of those have climate impacts. Designing streets for people rather than cars to go through. And that means community, it means people are able to walk, people are able to go to their grocery store, uh, people are able to traverse without using a car. When we talk about building parking lots, they don't just have to be blacktop surfaces. They can be community gathering spaces with green space and trees um, and taking away parking spaces in favor of these opportunities. Right now, there are only about two neighborhoods in which you can really live car-free with a certain level of ease. We have to change that. It has to be 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 neighborhoods. Our parks department has the resources, the foresters, the plant trees, and the knowledge uh, we just need to give them the resources to be able to do the work in other public properties, especially in areas where there's heat items. How are we uh, using climate equity indicators to improve the health outcomes in our neighborhoods? Human services delivery, as we look at um, impacting our budget through things like keeping people in their homes, reducing eviction, these are all a part of how we build healthier neighborhoods. We did not hear from candidates Victoria Parks or Scotty Johnson last night. Your first chance to vote for any of these candidates in Hamilton County comes next Wednesday, October 11th, with the start of early voting. Adrian Witsett, WCPO 9 News.